There certainly was no lack of motivation heading into the Ohio State game. The disappointment of the previous season's near miss was still fresh in the players' minds. It's been a while since I've been in this situation. I was here when Coach Whitenham started, and we see uh, as far as a bowl game, as far as the Rose Bowl, in other words, the chances are real good. So we right now we're setting our own destiny. It's been total frustration for the three years that I've been here. We've had them on the ropes every year since I've been here, and we gave it up in the last quarter. This year we're confident that our defense can hold on in the last quarter. We're not going to give them points. You can't lose them. Well, there's, there's no doubt about it. The past three years have been frustrating. I mean, that's, that's about all that needs to be said. Uh, this year, you know, we're, we've, we're confident that we're going to win this game. There's no doubt in anybody's mind. Again, the defense provides the Illini with a big play. An early sack left Buckeyes quarterback Mike Tomzik dazed, and after sitting out one play, he returns to hang a sideline pass. David Edwards picks it off and has clear sailing, 49 yards in all, and Illinois goes out in front 7 to nothing. It reached 10 to nothing before Ohio State began their comeback behind third string quarterback Jim Carsanos, who connects with Cedric Anderson on this long pass play just before the end of the half setting up a momentum-stealing field goal. After an early third quarter Ohio State interception, Keith Byers finds a huge hole on a misdirection play. His 35-yard touchdown run knots the game at 10. Another turnover allowed Ohio State to take the lead, and it appeared they had the game won when Trudeau was intercepted again deep in Buckeyes territory in the fourth quarter. But a time-consuming Ohio State drive ends on the Illinois 17 when Carsados is stopped short in a gambling fourth and four call by Earl Bruce. What happened next is the stuff history is made of. Two long completions to walk on wide receiver Scott Golden carry the ball to the Buckeyes 37. Trudeau then makes two brilliant decisions, first scrambling 16 yards to the Ohio State 21, then changing a planned draw at the line of scrimmage, the resulting quick toss to Thomas Rooks catching the Buckeyes in a blitz. Pitch out to Rooks. He's got the room. room. He's got the room. Thomas Rooks. Bombs go off to the north end of the stadium. Jump up and down and kiss your neighbor at the assembly hall. We're having a big party today. The key to the play was Trudeau's ability to quickly analyze the Ohio State defense and come up with the right audible. He knew the Buckeyes were blitzing and could be pinned inside. Even more important than the call was the execution. Tim Brewster, Jim Jariga, and the rest of the front wall allowed Rooks to turn the corner, and once he got to the sideline, the Buckeyes were dead. Rooks cuts inside of a block and high steps it into the end zone, capping a perfectly executed 21-yard scoring play. However, the 87-yard drive took only 37 seconds, giving Ohio State a minute to try to pull off a miracle. But Edwards ends their hopes by picking off an overthrown pass on first down, and the Illini had broken a 15-year losing streak at the hands of the mighty Buckeyes, 17-13. We beat Ohio State, and you're like, we haven't did this. You know, we've been one of those teams that's always come close and never really done it, but it was like I was in, you know, state of jubilation. I was so happy. Two years we came short, and even when we was down, we knew we had it. We kept our poise, and we was able to come out with the victory. Last year, I, I almost cried, I think. Uh, I went home. I didn't go anywhere, and it's just, it just broke my heart last year. And this year, just knowing that I contributed the way I did, you know, I put a score on the board. It just, I said, one of the greatest women I've ever been in. I'm numb right now. I, I had my Kevin Pitts in there. And just, you know, I said it was a frustrating game, and, and uh, to win it like that, oh man, I think they're probably still partying out there. 